In previous tutorials, we create our own development environment for Qt5 with Raspberry Pi. Now, we will see how we can debug Qt5 applications with Qt Creator in Raspberry Pi. So first, update the system. And now download the GDB server. GDB server is already installed. And now to debug, the GDB multi arc should be installed. And also for Raspberry Pi, download the GDB server if you don't have. And now, it is a good idea to declare the device definition from the Qt Creator from Tool, Options, Kits, Add, give just a name for your device, target device, just Rasp, just give it some Raspberry Pi. This one is a generic Linux device. Um, this is root. Also, these are okay. Now uh, we will add these ones to add these features compiler environment. For example, Qt versions is manually detected. It's okay. The compiler at C. Choose this one, the GCC, hard float, which is so. This also the here is important. You should select the Linux one, then apply. Also add the C++, but we didn't give any name, so to not confuse, just I write down here the RASP and also for this rasp browse again not now uh, g++ should be selected also this one is the linux one apply for debuggers we choose We choose not here. If you choose this one, Qt Creator will uh, give some error for you. If you want, you can try it. I will choose the GDB multi arc from uh, user. Sorry, pin. Yeah, this one. Okay, apply. We don't use CMake right now. Should be so okay. Debuggers, compiler, Qt versions, kits. Okay, device type we choose before. Device is okay. Sysroot again opt 
choose 5 and this one now open choose GCC Rasp and also this one this is the Rust debug Q2 origin is 5 and 10 1 uh, yeah I think it's okay apply okay but it is a good idea also to add the device This one is it? Hmm. Yeah. Generic Linux device here. And give your Raspberry Pi IP address. The root is mine. Your password here. Next. Finish. It's try. Yeah, oh, it's failed to connect. Why? I don't know. Let's check. Maybe I just retype the password. Mm, it's okay. Test. Yeah. Okay. Add. Oops, sorry. Apply. You can see drawing processes now in your Raspberry Pi as seen from here. You can kill any processes. So okay now uh, create a simple command actually console application to see the bugger is working gdb example next next yeah the rasp is should be chosen here if you if you have much more than one device choose the rasp Okay. You can uh, from here you can compile your application in debug mode or in relays mode. Let's choose debug and let's build it. Rebuild the project. Compile output. Yeah, it's compiled now. There is no problem. to uh, send the debug actually from here start debugging and now this errors pop up it says you, sh you didn't uh, write your the path for the target application for executable just copy here stop debugging okay just go to your profile and add here Home. GDB example. Save it. And now start debugging. Put here some points. Yeah, it's seen. It stops. So GDB is working now. We can check. For example. We can check any variable from the here. So uh, start debugging, stop debugger. Rebuild again. Rebuild again. Yeah. And now put here. Remove this breakpoint. So debug again. Remotely. It connects and stops here. We can see var variable is zero. We can continue one step, step over, and what is one again now is seen from here. And one more step, and it should be three as seen. So debugging is simple. That is all for this tutorial. See you again.